So my first report, which described his criminal career and annexed the individual decisions, was published in July 2002, about 18 months after we started work. So by the time the whole inquiry was finished, the cost to the public purse was about £21 million. Let us say, therefore, that the first stage cost about 10 or £11 million. Was that part of the inquiry worth it? Yes, in my view, beyond doubt, because it provided the families with reliable answers to their questions in a reasonably short time, fulfilling what I regard as being the state's duty to investigate uh, a death which a servant of the state, the GPs, GPs in my view, although not directly a servant, um, a servant of the state might have been responsible, and incidentally also providing the inquiry with a panoramic view of his, Chipman's, actions and methodology on which to base my consideration of the uh, system's failures, which was my primary task. To my mind, the first stage of this inquiry entailed the kind of subject matter to which the public inquiry is ideally suited. The questions were simply, what happened, what are the facts? The inquiry had the power to command the production of documentary and witness evidence, and unlike a court case, uh, has no agenda where there's a real public interest in facts being openly and thoroughly investigated, in my view, there's nothing quite like a public inquiry. But note that when you're finding out what has happened, there are no recommendations to be made, uh, and therefore the outcome is me measured in terms of public confidence in terms of independence and thoroughness and impartiality. And in respect of the first stage of my inquiry, I think we did pretty well, and I'm quite proud of the result. But on the other hand, when the inquiry comes, as minded in later parts, to make recommendations for change, it seems to me that its success or worthwhileness will be measured in terms of outcomes, usually legislative or regulatory outcomes. And, oh dear, in my experience, it's then a very different matter. But so far as this first stage was concerned, I'm sure that my decision uh, to investigate was right. I'm also sure that my decision to sit alone was right on that part of the inquiry. The function of sifting and hearing pretty straightforward evidence and sorting it out is meat and drink to a judge. Uh, it would have been immensely time-consuming and not, I think, very productive to have had to discuss each and every individual case with a panel. That was the first stage. I give myself fairly high marks for that. Let me go on. I'm not going to burden you with a, a long account of the second stage, which was concerned only to discover why the police had failed to realise that there was a problem with Shipman when it was reported to him early in 1998 that his death rates seemed to be abnormally high. The uh, second report revealed a piece of dismally incompetent police investigation. I did name and shame two police officers, one more than the other. I feel utterly unrepentant about it, and I think that they had a perfectly fair hearing. They didn't try and judicially review me. 